today I'm going to be unboxing my new GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. Let's get started. Plan to use this for recreational purposes. I'll mostly be using it for traveling and I'll also be using it for wakeboarding as well as scuba diving. I'm not sure what this piece was, it just fell off. Uh, I think it's just what a box came with. Alright, so here's the GoPro. It's very sleek. Definitely a lot different than the other ones. I really like that this one is waterproof up to 33 feet without a case. Let's see what else we got in here. The cool feature about this is it has voice control, so you can ask it to play video for you, and you can also ask it to take pictures for you, which is really convenient if you don't have somebody around you to take a picture of yourself or you and somebody else. Another cool feature is this uh, touch screen on the back. It's two inch touch screen. I believe you can replay videos and I think you can even edit them. You can trim clips. You can also change the setting of the GoPro. I got the super suit and it's a dive housing. The amazing thing is that it can sustain the pressure up to 193 feet underwater. Although you probably wouldn't be scuba diving that deep. Well, opened it upside down, but it's got a little film casing over this. And then it also has a mount that goes on it. It comes with two um, back doors. I think this is so that you can uh, mount different things on the doors. I was actually thinking about investing in one of the flotation devices to put on the back of this. Mostly because the flotation device is bright orange so it would be very easy to find if you dropped it in the water especially if you were doing any type of water sport another thing that I like about the new version of the GoPro is that it has the GPS locator on it so you can basically take your pictures and then not have to go in and edit them and edit where you took them and edit the description that always takes a long time also bought the handler so this is uh, just a floating hand grip it's got a little wrist strap there so it won't fall off your hand the whole reason I'm making this video is ultimately to retire my old action camera which is a uh, Contour Rome 2 HD. It's not quite as good resolution as the GoPro. It only shoots in 1080p. And I, the amazing thing is though I've had it for about four years. So I got it in 2013 and it's done pretty good since then. Here's a little tool that you can use to tighten the GoPro onto it, onto the handle. Another thing that I thought was strange is that GoPro just now started making their devices waterproof and the action camera that I'm shooting this on now, the Contour, is actually waterproof and like I said I got it four years ago so I'm not really sure why the GoPro hasn't implemented a waterproof GoPro.
until now. Another cool feature of this GoPro is that it has uh, video stabilization, which is very much unlike the Contour Run 2. Yeah, so you can just put your hand in this thing. Well, this is my last video using the Contour HD Roam 2, so now I'll officially be shooting in 4K. Check my YouTube channel for videos of me traveling. I'll be traveling to Central America this spring, so I'll definitely get a lot of good footage there. Thanks for watching.